Welcome back to my channel. My name is Denny and today I'm going to test out a palette bingo. I pulled out my Morphe palette. This is my Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette, which I haven't been giving it a lot of love. This is it. Um, I decided to do a palette bingo with this. There are several different shades in here. It has some shimmers. It has some matte, some satin. So let's see, to be exact, there are four shimmers. There are one, two, three, four, five mattes and one satin one, unless one is hiding out. So there's 10 shades in here and I'm gonna put in my number generator 10 and it's gonna select them. So basically with the palette bingo, I believe like it just goes from left to right and well, my, my left to right in order so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so let's go ahead and pick four shades to do a look with all right so my first one is number one so number one is the shade lolly which is this one right here it's a beautiful pink like rose gold shade i think it's really pretty all right let's generate another number all right, it generated number four. All right, so number four is Boom. I've never used that one. So this one's like a brown copper shade. Please give me some matte shades to make a, another color. So here we go. That rose gold, that more copper one. All right, let's generate. All right, so then the next color is number two which is this one right here. That's called Rush. And we're going to swatch that right here. That's like a peanut butter shade. And the last one, let's see what it generates for me. Number nine. So that is Framed. And Framed is a like wine shade. So these are my colors two shimmers, two mattes. I think I can work with that. Now, from what I've seen other people do, they do include other shades as necessary, but they definitely have to use the four shades that they chose. All right, um, I think I can come up with a very wearable look. Should I sabotage myself and give myself one more, or should I just give myself the option of I'm not sure. Okay, anyway. You know what? Just for the fun of it, we're going to go ahead and generate one more number. And they gave me number three, which is on camera. It's a gold shade. It's just for fun. So here we have another shade. All right. All right, that's not too sabotaging. I'm gonna go ahead and get started by priming my lids. You would think that I thought this through, but of course I haven't. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids using my Benefit Gen Nude. This is what I've been using. And basically I put that on the entire lid, but I kind of like spread it out with my finger. That's my method of choice. All right, so we have that on, and I'm starting out without brows. It's all good. We will make this work. I'm going to go ahead with the color Rush, which was number two, right? Rush, and I'm going to go ahead and put that into my crease. So that's going to be like my crease color. It's a orange terracotta shade I'm gonna build that up I'm gonna go all in with this I'm gonna go ahead and see what I come up with and I'm doing this with the Luxie 229 brush it's a tapered blending brush I have tons of Luxie brushes that's like brush of choice 
I really like the pigment on that. Okay. I am not mad at that. Now with my eyes, I'm <laughs> never good at making them look the same for some reason. All right, so that is on. All right, so I'm going to take the color framed with the same brush that I was using, and I'm going to tap that into the outer corner and even bring it into like the center, but keeping it low, lower to the line. I mean, it's not going to stay low because I have a really big eye. And... I'm just going to kind of pack it on in there and then I'll go back and blend it. But for right now, I'm going to just pack and even extend. All right. So then I'm going to tap my brush annoyingly and then I'm going to go ahead and blend. And I like to go ahead, just blend some into the crease and then blend this out as well kind of faded on the end where I wanted to pack it. All right. I brought it up pretty high for some reason. That's just like the way I do things. I never stay in the lines or do the right things. I think I want to put the on camera, which was the last shade, onto my lid, but I'm going to pat that on using my finger. I almost never do it like that, but I feel like this color would be good with the finger. And if not, then we can always fix it. All right, so I put that on with my finger going from the beginning of the, like the corner of the eye towards the middle, kind of like uniting those two shades. I'm going to do the same. I almost never put on eyeshadow with my fingers, but for this one, I just felt like touching it and seeing what it does. I'm going to take the Lolly shade on a mini round brush. This is the Luxie 141, and I'm going to take that Lolly shade, which is the pink rose gold color. And that is what I'm going to put in my inner corner. And actually I'm going to fan that out like towards like just like that whole corner making like a V with it.
I really like this brush. I don't really get to use it as often, but I do like it. All right. So now I need to do some blending because I do see that those shades up there kind of they haven't married each other. They're just they know each other, but they haven't married each other. And I, I want them to get to know each other. Right. So I'm going to go in hard with the color frame and I'm going to just pack that sucker right on in because I, I want these two people to just make this union a reality. And I'm just going to pack it in here and not caring if it's too dark and not too dark. And if I'm going to go wine, I want to go wine. I want to go in and I want this to, to show. See, that's what I'm talking about. I want I want these two to know each other. So I'm going to go ahead and blend a little bit right here. Same thing. I'm going to blend a little bit right here. And as if that gold is not good enough, because to me it is not good enough, I'm going to take a shader brush or this is a concealer brush which I call a shader brush and I am going to wet my brush because I believe this needs a little bit of help I'm gonna put some charger water on it and then I'm gonna go back into that on camera shade that gold and I want that pop just to like lift all right, is this gonna work? Mm, nope. Maybe I need to get it on the brush and then wet it. Let's see, let's make this happen. All right, that is happening. Yeah, I wanted that to bust loose and pop all the way. I feel like the one shade down here is doing, it's giving me the business. It's like, yes, I'm all about that life. But the other ones, they were just like, um, not ready, not ready for this party yet. And you guys already know how I am. I like to see some shadow on my eyes. All right. So I've used uh, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to go ahead and take this small brush again. Clean it off on my sponge thing and then I'm going to go back into the color rush and I'm going to put that on my waterline forgive me if I keep covering stuff up And then on top of that, I'm going to go ahead and put the color Boom, which was that other shade that I had to use it was number three, right? This Boom shade. I'm going to go ahead and put that under. This is that copper shade. I'm going to also put that on top. And 
and even got on my waterline, which actually is fine with me. Now I look like I have a copper waterline. Alright, so I know it looks crazy, a little intense. I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my face, some lashes, eyeliner, all of that good stuff, and show you the end look. Okay, so I wanted to show you my completed look without putting on lashes or eyeliner. And to be honest, right now, I think this look looks pretty without it and it can carry itself without that stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and put on some lashes and I'm also going to put some eyeliner and see if it amps it up just a bit. So for eyeliner, my favorite eyeliner of all time is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster in ultra black now this right here has a really fine brush and i really like the way this goes on it also helps grow your lashes so i'm gonna go ahead and apply a thin line well i'm gonna try to make a thin line but it's never guaranteed And I honestly think I don't even want to wing it out. I think just the line is fine with me. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. But then I'm going to apply some lashes just to give it a little something, some pizzazz. I'm going to go with like a trusty lash, which is like my Eyelore ones. These are in number 155. They come in a three pack and it's a lengthening multi pack. They're pretty much floating around in here. I never actually use the glue that comes with the lashes because it contains latex and that affects my eyes. So I end up using the dual glue and this is the just a brush on adhesive with vitamins. I really like this one. It doesn't have any latex so it's just perfect for my lashes. So I use my lash um, holder or I don't know what this tool is called. But it really helps me put on my lashes, so I used this guy. And I basically got this on Amazon for, I think, like two bucks, and it's so good. So then we just apply the lashes, and if you need to find out how to put on lashes, I would go to a different video for that, because I'm not good at this. So... Actually, it's getting stuck to it. Mm-hmm. I literally just stick it on to the lash line and then I use this to like just pull it and place it where it needs to be and that's the extent of me putting on lashes that is all I know how to do and then I just hope for the best and they stay there so that's my lash tutorial <laughs> but I have other friends who make lash tutorials if you want to check them out um one of my good friends here Sherry Ward she did a video on how to put on lashes so I would check out someone who's a pro instead of me for lashes at least <laughs> All right, and do the same thing for the other one. All right, so this is the look with some lashes on. And and you'll let me know what you think. I think this palette bingo came out really simple, although I think that this, the reason is because I think this is a very cohesive palette and every shade in here kind of complements other shades in here. I don't think there are too many that you can't put together. So maybe this was a fail, maybe it wasn't, but this was a palette that I wanted to just bingo and just like let it choose some colors for me as opposed to me doing the same old look that I always do. 
If you like this palette bingo, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let me know if you want to see more of these with other palettes or request the palettes. Go ahead and put that in the comments below. Become a member of my Guns fam. And as always, from my house to yours. Love ya.